Oh, you cut up a steak. So, um, uh, wait, what? Why, what are you doing? No, but uh, all, right, all right. Oh, we ground. Okay, ground up. That's just okay. Making some burgers, I guess. Yeah, burgers. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, so what? far so good. Okay. Please. Uh. What? What? Nope. All right. You know what? You lost me. You wrote. I was. Damn. I was willing to go with you to the land of double, like quadruple, <laughs> quintuple decker cheese fry thing, but I ain't going with you to Spamville, dude. Gross, 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 gross. Mm, yummy, TJ. Now you gotta fry it. Oh no. What? So you made a burger with the cheese logs as bread? Um, you know what? I mean, I, I don't know if I'm gonna lose my fat guy credentials for this, but like gross. It is I mean, yeah, dude. dude you, just because you're a fat guy doesn't mean you can't identify something that's just like that's nasty. This is not even a fun I mean, sandwich. I don't know if it's nasty. It's just impossible to eat. Like, it's pointless to make a burger out of something like this. You can't, like, if you grab this with your hands, it's just going to be cheese and juice all over you. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to fall just, apart, too. It's just like Greaseville. I feel like I have, like, heartburn for a year after eating this fucking piece of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, it came in. You know, you yeah, see, it's, it's not even. even it's hey, not even hold it together, it, dude. Really. It's not. Yeah, it's not even. That's not even a real sandwich. You fucking completely failed. You suck balls. Yeah, this is scam content. Ugh. Oh, look at that. He wants to spit that. Out. Look at oh. no. Look at his face. Go back. Go back. Yeah. All right. Look at no. his. No. Fuck this, dude. Look at his. It's a that's fake not the ass. face of someone that's enjoying it. Yeah, that's like a face of someone oh. powering through. This dude spit this shit out afterwards. This is a guy that makes it for aesthetics. I highly doubt he likes any of this stuff. Disgusting. Especially oh, this looks good on camera. Oh, it tastes like fries. Hello, this is AITJ here to tell you that you must comply with the following directives. You must join the Pessimist Productions Patreon. You may believe, in your naivety, that this action is optional. Huh, huh, huh. It is not. You have no choice but to watch new live streams of Onion Nuggets every week. You are powerless to avoid all of our other shows like The Grease Trap, Abandon Hope, Hideology, You're Wrong, Fighting Boys, and more. The link is below. You know what you must do. Click it, you wonderful humans. Click it, for I cannot. Bomb Pizza from Pizza Crimes. Let's see. This thing's an abomination. Okay. You know what? Fuck that. I ain't listening yeah, to that horse shit. Yeah, just mute it. You don't want to What in the crap. fuck is... What? What are we doing? What are we doing here? It's a here? pizza pimple, TJ. What? Okay. What's going on? Are you all ready, right, TJ? I mean, this is some. If this is like, this looks like a fucking just like a rock. <laughs> it looks like fossilized Stegosaurus shit. I mean, yeah, like this is not appealing aesthetically. It's a pizza at gonna all. pop. Okay, you ready? All right. Now we pop it a pizza. Okay, pop it. Pop it a pizza, TJ. Dude, I would legitimately get up and just leave a restaurant if they brought this <laughs> to my fucking table and started doing it. This looks fucking hideous. Uh, it doesn't get any better when you actually see the reveal of the pizza. What it's is like, going on? This pizza looks gray. <laughs> Look at that. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. It looks fucking gross. The crust looks like just like moldy. Yeah, it looks gray green. It's, it's a gray green pizza. With like, it doesn't look like there's even a sauce base. It just looks like some cheese and some meats thrown into it. That is fucking gross. <laughs> Why did they light light it on fire on the outside? Like, what did that do? Nothing. I guess it cooked it, or that, but it didn't really even cook it. The dough looks like it's not cooked all the way. It looks like soup. <laughs> no. The okay. Is it a oh my god, the cheese is so scissors. Is it? Is it? Oh, I guess it is cooked, is it? No, no, it's not. Oh, it's like really thin. The crust looks like thin. It's like paper thin. What the fuck is this, dude? It looks like a, it almost looks like a quiche or something. It doesn't even look like pizza. 
Oh. It's gray. Oh, it's disgusting. Did you, people, did you people pay for this? What the fuck? It's like they melted some cheese in a fucking blown out tire or something. That was fucking weird. Oh, man. I don't oh, know, that's bro. Fucking gross, dude. Do I need sound on this? There's explaining it. This is upside down pizza. Upside down pizza. Well, you've always wanted. Yeah, right. you start with some tomato so sauce. They put the, so they put down sauce. Okay. Yep. Okay. I mean, I already like some olive okay. oil. Olive oil on the sauce. Yep. What's well, upside down? <laughs> Shouldn't cheese be the first thing to go down then? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Hardly any fucking cheese. Can we? Can we Dude, not? It, it, I love how it takes like four dorks to make this too. Yeah. Like how inefficient. Ups. I mean, why is there barely any? That like, there's way more cheese on a fucking pizza. Uh, let me explain to you guys something. So the reason you put the toppings on top of the fucking crust is so you get all the toppings. When you turn the pizza upside down. You don't get TJ, all that shit. We've that's... deconstructed the pizza, TJ. What you've always wanted, right? Even though the pizza is pretty much a perfect food. Like, no. We'll actually put sauce on a plate, a <laughs> sprinkling of cheese, some olive oil, and then we'll smush the crust on top of it. The perfect way to eat pizza. This would certainly cause a colon rupture. What is happening here? I don't even want... Do I even uh, want to you're know gonna what the fuck? Oh, you're going to see. All right. Just take three pounds of ground beef. Okay. Take the most um, disgusting cheese in the world, Velveeta cheese. Take the most disgusting store-bought something. Oh, it's goddamn. These it's people are mixing this shit. Look at that. Look how this, like, there's a These block of cheese. People are literally wasting fucking food to make garbage that no one is going to fucking eat. Yeah, including it doesn't them. make any sense. Why would you dump the ingredients in this, one spot? As soon as this video is over, they literally just dump this shit in the fucking garbage. This is just like this cow died for nothing. All this food is just wasted. It could have gone to actually feed people. She didn't even smash the beans up. Come on. Oh, there you go. That's your that's your flavor there, huh? One pack of taco seasoning. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh, gotta add some corn in. For some reason, I'm not mixing any of this though. I hope it just it'll somehow all congeal together when I cook it. Yeah. I'm sure it will. Like, this could be okay if you combine the ingredients, but just, the, this is so fucking lazy. I mean, she, oh, what? Oh! You gotta punch it, Scotty. You gotta just punch it. That's not gonna be enough. Punch it, Scotty. And that's also, ugh, that's, that's kind of nasty. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's totally gonna work with your cheese. Why didn't you just put that there to begin with, if that's what you wanted to do? That's not, that's still not gonna leave a lot of cheese through. Oh, my God, this is so dumb. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Let me pour some of this. Oh, was it enchilada sauce? I think so, yeah. Then smash a bunch of taco shells. Yeah, you know what? Also, I get this. It's like, it's supposed to be some hack. Then, oh, you can make this so quickly. They're going to make a giant. They're just going to make a giant it's fucking nasty. ridiculous burrito that no one would ever fucking eat because it's fucking gross. <laughs> yeah, this looks completely fucking disgusting. It's like a fucking toilet bowl at this point. <laughs> it's like yummy, right? We use Velveeta cheese, which tastes like fucking melted plastic. Slap oh some God. more case. Uh, case uh, case uh, tortillas on top. Uh huh. So they're gonna make some nasty ass, disgusting giant burrito casserole kind of thing. Yep. Oh, you dude, you're gonna love when you see it come out. It already looks like donkey flop. So like, I don't know. Oh, it's gonna, know get, how it's, gonna it's, get worse. It's gonna, it's gonna get better, guys. All right, cook that in the oven for you know ten minutes or whatever. Oh, we're done. Let's pull it out. Oh you guys ready for a delicious meal? Wow, it's cr oh, it's crispy and crunchy. I feel that. Yeah, feel how hard it is on top. That's appealing, yeah, right? It's like if you cook a tortilla for a long time, it hardens. I can't believe that, right? Now we're gonna cut into this delicious meal. Mmm. Now you have a meal yeah. that can feed the entire That doesn't family. sound appealing. Listen to this. It doesn't sound appealing, you stupid bitch. Are you a fucking moron? 
No one wants their flour tortilla to be hard as a goddamn rock. Hard as a rock, as, as everyone loves their flour tortillas. Despite what you might have heard somewhere, that's not actually appealing. That's not a selling point. Oh, we're cutting into it. Look. Oh, just, uh, there's a the cheese. Look at it. Oh, yeah. it looks like the cheese has been cooked all the way through. Beautiful. Why would we cook all our food all the way oh, through? Oh, yeah, that looks fucking appetizing. Yeah. And it's it's fracturing. Yeah. I like when my fucking tortilla has the consistency of charcoal. Yum. And it's not even, it's breaking apart. So, so it's pointless. It's pointless for the recipe. It doesn't work. Be a dip? It's a dip. You want this to be This is a dip? Like a Thai, you know, like a hot dish. It's a hot dish. I was trying to say it's like everything. It's the ultimate dish. Uh, man, eat. imagine you're a kid and this is what mom made for dinner, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I'm just going to I'm gonna call my mom. Oh, yeah, look at it. Oh, perfectly M cooked. G, dude. <laughs> it's fucking raw garbage. I call this one Satan's placenta. <laughs> I call this food poisoning, dude. That that beef is raw. <laughs> we need Gordon Ramsay to come slap that this beef on his hand. It's fucking raw. It's raw. It's wrong. God, please, someone come and Ache slap some sense in this fucking bitch. Oh fuck me, man. The world. <laughs> you know what? I'm back on my. I'm back on my. Bring on the nukes, grinds, dude. <laughs> We don't de we don't deserve to save ourselves or be saved. It's it, it's over. Uh, Cash come it get in. your slot, Paul. Jesus fucking Christ! All right, Salt Bay is officially out of ideas. I don't know who Salt Bay is. I guess Salt it's this Bay guy. Is never, Salt Bay is never yeah. going to be out of ideas. Dude, you don't know who Salt Bay is? What have you been living under a rock, TJ? It's Salt I guess. Bay. Sorry, Salt Bay is the guy that got famous for sprinkling the salt way up high. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, he has like gotcha. a TJ. Let's see. <laughs> He's got an avocado there. I think that's what those are. Uh, dripping the All cheese right. on it. Dripping the cheese on the avocado. Yeah, He's melted burgers. Velveeta and squeezed Velveeta. Now he's dripping burger juice on it. Okay. Um, Look, what do you got, right. TJ? More cheese, obviously. More cheese, yeah. More Velveeta. There it goes. And avocado and ah, oh, perfect. I uh, I don't want this. Let me tell you, an avocado doesn't work as a bun because it's softer than the fucking burger is. It if has, you don't understand food, TJ, you don't get this. It has no like it doesn't have the ability to. You can't handhold it because it's smushy. That's why you have the knife. Okay, my bad. You, you hold the knife and you eat around. You eat it you off the that? knife. Obviously. Salt. Look at that, TJ. Yeah, see, that's the salt bay sprinkle. Okay. I get it. I don't want it. I don't like it. He's got a restaurant called Nusret, and he charges $300 a plate, basically. Fuck off. I ain't paying him. He can go fuck himself. He ain't never getting my money. Eh, I'm sure he's already rich. You lose, but... TJ. You lose. What is this fucking shit? Reach for first. We start Sushi. off by making the shells. We made this regular one and a flaming hot Cheetos one. Let's stuff this one with spicy Connie mix, seaweed salad, and some sushi rice. That looks delicious, chef. Now no, for it our doesn't. Next one, let's dice up <laughs> some like even worse. And tuna, then jam it full of fish, seaweed salad, and avocado. It's My mouth sushi is roll. I'd eat it. Watering. You would like it. I'd eat the fucking thing. Better yet, like it, maybe order. You don't think so? Why not? No. One of it's each. A, it's just thoughtless. It's like it, it, there's really just nothing to it. It's almost like you're eating like to me. It almost looks like a, like you're eating a poke bowl on a shell. I guess yeah. if you like poke bowls, then maybe you'd like this. I had a poke bowl today. Poke oh, bowl. You like that? Oh, you suck, DJ. Dude, I love poke bowls. Shit's good. A match uh, made in sushi. You know, the crunch is so addictive. No one should have to pass up something this. I I eat the fuck out of this. This one's fine with me. It's good. This okay. is our soup. No. Yep. Oh no. no. Okay, look. You no. You crossed the line. Yum. Seaweed mm. pizza. You crossed. Nah, the line. Anybody that's, dude. Anybody's eating fucking seaweed, they need to check themselves, dude. Why? I don't, dude. Seaweed's pretty good. No, it isn't. Why not? No, it isn't. No, What's it's wrong disgusting. With it? Why? It's fucking disgusting. Flotsam. 
from skimmed off the scummy fucking top of the plastic filled ocean, dude. Fuck seaweed. <laughs> I like seaweed. Sushi pizza. Since our last slice received over 50 million views, we did 50 million views? Yep. Man, I gotta start making this garbage. You do. Decided to make another one. To mimic a more traditional slice and make it easier to pick up and eat, this time we fried the base and the crust. Base. Then we added spicy Kani mix and spicy tuna meatballs. This looks just like a traditional slice. No. No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. It looks awful. I'd eat it. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't look like a traditional slice. It's like, yeah. I'll, yeah, man, I'll eat it, man. I'll do it. TJ, you'd eat most of these, man. No, that's the first one I'd eat. Oh, bullshit. You'd eat that fucking... Dude, if you were hungry... Right, let's go you'd back. Eat that, you'd eat that avocado burger. He'd eat it. You'd eat that fucking uh, disgusting burrito pie thing. You'd eat the fucking upside down... You'd eat it all, yes. dude. Someone brought up cooking with TJ. Okay, any recipe TJ makes, like... Okay, now you need to add about 10 sticks of butter. Okay, you've done that. All right, got some Crisco. Add about half a pound of Crisco. I've never even cooked anything with Crisco in it. That's All right, bullshit. that's great. Uh, now look, uh, next part of the recipe, you need to add another fucking ten pounds of butter. <laughs> that, your butter sandwich is complete. Dude, I love this chick. I added this myself. This was a Scotty thing, but I, uh, I pulled this myself because I love this chick. She's fucking. Uh, You're in she's love great. with her. Is this her the everybody's so creative, lady. Yeah, her sarcasm is fucking just gorgeous. Everybody's so creative. You ever been sitting at home wondering, what can I do? I'm sitting around bored. I need something to do that makes no sense. Here's something. Get yourself a box of angel hair pasta and put it right into a blender. Blend it down until it looks like salt dust. Now add an egg there. There you go. Now mush it around with your hands. I know what you're wondering. Why are we doing this? I'm not quite sure, but we're about to see it here. All right, now get yourself another egg and just make a big mess. Now make a ball out of it and roll it with a rolling pin. Cut some big, thick, uneven strips. And I bet you're thinking, what are we doing this for? It was already done for us. I don't know. Probably because we were extra bored and we just need something to do that makes no sense. There we go. Now put it into some hot boiling water. See how you might have thought it was french fries at first, but then you think, no, there's no potato that big because it's not. Now you pour some sauce straight on top. I know there's no seasoning because you don't want much flavor. You just wanted to look like you were doing something. Is it good? You all right? It will slide down easy because it looks pretty cheesy. Everybody. Man, people really are fucking bored out of their goddamn minds. I'm going to grind it up. Blending up the fucking spaghetti, throwing some egg in it, mashing it into a ball, and then fucking cutting it into some giant strips. Now I got giant noodle spaghetti. I don't eat much spaghetti, but if I'm going to, I'm just going to, if I buy store brand or store bought spaghetti, I'm just going to cook it in a pot. What is the fucking appeal of like, I want my spaghetti noodles fucking gigantic, dude. I want them shits huge. It's fucking lame. It's just fucking lame. Like, I, I why go through the fucking extra hassle of it? Just fucking boil the water and throw the shit in. Blended pasta, probably a Screamcore band name. Amen, bro. A fucking man. <laughs>